Good morning. Good morning. Welcome everyone. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga Religious. Please join me in the entrance antiphon. The clean hands and pure heart shall climb the mountain of the Lord and stand in his holy place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Let us take a moment to call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga join penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need. You may have an abundance of every good work, as it is written. He scatters abroad, he gives to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You are being enriched in every way for all generosity which through us produces thanksgiving to God. The word of the Lord. Be Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whoever loves me will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will come to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your Heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, 
go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, then neglect their appearance, that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. When you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning in our Gospel in Matthew chapter 6, we hear one of the readings that we hear at the beginning of Lent. And it's the um, quintessential reading explaining the gifts of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. So, of course, we focus on these three things during Lent. But, of course, you know, we can have a daily plan of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving um, throughout the year. Of course, the one that is most important is the gift of prayer. And certainly, um, you know, it's a word of gratitude to all of you, our daily, you know, mass communicants who have already made that commitment. Um, that desire um, for the Lord to receive daily communion, to begin your day with the Lord, and to offer your day to Him. That certainly is a very praiseworthy um, daily plan of prayer to make daily Mass. Of course, Our Lady Fatima called us to pray the daily rosary. Um, hopefully for all of us who attend daily Mass, we also pray a daily rosary. Some of us may called, feel called to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet along with the daily rosary. The Divine Mercy Chaplets traditionally prayed at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. at the hours marking when Jesus was raised on the cross and when Jesus expired. Of course, throughout the week, we can have other devotions. Um, Mondays, oftentimes, in honor of the souls in purgatory. Every Monday, we can offer a special prayer for the souls in purgatory. Um, of course, on Wednesday, as we have been doing here at St. Genevieve, we honor St. Joseph. So um, as we pray our St. Joseph prayer after Mass, that's one way of honoring St. Joseph. And perhaps you may find another prayer to St. Joseph in the evening um, you like to pray um, to honor him. Um, oftentimes, um, Thursdays are committed to um, the Eucharist and the priesthood. And so um, Thursday is a time to maybe spend time in Eucharistic adoration or um, to say, you know, a special prayer um, for priests. Of course, on Fridays is always reminiscent of the Passion, and so um, every Friday we can, um, in particular, pray, pray the Way of the Cross. Um, the Way of the Cross, um, some of us pray and some of us don't pray as much. But, you know, if we make daily Mass and, you know, daily Rosary, um, a weekly Way of the Cross is uh, something to really consider. You know, just have to pray the Way of the Cross during Lent. You know, we have our stations here in church. You can pray the way of the cross from your um, prayer room at home. But every Friday is um, something to consider um, to pray the way of the cross. Of course, every um, Saturday is honor of um, Our Lady. And so, you know, every Saturday it's wonderful. Maybe on Saturday morning, a time when we may sleep in a little bit. Um, maybe to um, wake up a little bit early on Saturday morning and to have perhaps a special prayer, a special rosary, or a special devotion. Um, to the Blessed Mother. Children of holy ancestors, we pray for Jews, Christians, and Muslims, spiritual descendants of a wandering Aramean, we pray to the Lord. For all attentive to God's voice speaking in their lives, we pray to the Lord. That through the intercession of our Lord, prompt secure, our Lord will spare us during this hurricane season from all harm, protect us, our homes, and our properties from all disasters of nature. 
We pray to the Lord. For the sake among us, through the intercession of Blessed Francis, say, receive us and receive the gift of healing and hope. We pray to the Lord. For all who wait in death for God's eternal blessing, we pray to the Lord. For our silent intentions. We pray to the Lord. God of our journey, in Abraham and Sarah, you found hearts open to your promise. Inspire us by their example that we may follow Christ wherever the path may lead, with eyes fixed on the blessings you promise, through Christ our Lord. Blessed Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours would be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garments, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrate themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
A mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Moria, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles and all the saints who St. Aloysius. We have pleased you throughout the ages. May merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. God gave them bread from heaven, man ate the bread of angels.
Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life and following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor today. May we persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Please join me in our prayer, St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, we have recourse in our affliction. Having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we now with hearts filled with confidence earnestly beg you to take us under your protection. Through that sacred bond of charity which united you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and by that fatherly love which you embraced the child Jesus. We humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased by his blood, and to aid us in our necessities with your power and strength. Defend, O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Keep from us, the most loving Father, all blight of error and corruption. Aid us from on high, most valiant defender, in this conflict with the powers of darkness. And just as you once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now defend God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and strengthened by your hope, may be able to live a virtuous life, die a happy death, and obtain everlasting bliss in heaven. Amen. St. Michael, 